it's time. The first two games in charge of Aston Villa are going to be played in today's episode. Will we be villains or will we be heroes? Let's find out. Hello then and welcome back to a whole new ball game. Now, as you remember from the last episode, we are the new manager of Aston Villa after Ron Atkinson got sacked. And it's just come through before this game that, Ni uh, that Brian Clough, not Nigel Clough, has been sacked at Forest as well. It's 19th against 20th in the league. This is going to be uh, a key one for our season. If we win this, I've got more hope than I would otherwise. Uh, this is the 11 we're going with anyway. We've got Bosnich in goal, Staunton, Teal, McGrath, Barrett in defence. Richardson, Parker, Houghton and Daly in midfield with York and Fashnu up top. We have got another formation we can switch to. We've got a 4-3-3 that I've put in there just to see how we get on there. We've got fitness concerns for Steve Staunton, but we shall, we shall go to the city ground um, and see if we can beat Forrest. I can't speak, but if you are enjoying the series or the premise of the series at least and you enjoy this video, please hit the like button down below. It will help out no end. And if you want to carry on watching the series... Uh, please hit the subscribe button as well. Join the channel. We've got this series, obviously, with Villa now in 1992. And a current day Blackburn Rovers series as well uh, called European Ewood, e which we are now in season six, I believe. Uh, so have a look at that one. And Wonder Kids Head to Head is coming as well. Or has already started, rather. More episodes coming soon. Right, back to the action. And we are underway. And I think we might already be on extended highlights. And it's going very slowly. So I should probably... Have a look at changing that. Right, let's see if we remember how to do it. So we don't want extended highlights. We want key highlights. Match speed, I'm not sure which one it is. I'm not sure it's two up or one up. We shall see. Uh, camera, TV. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, we'll go with that. Let's see how that looks. No, we want to change the camera height. No, that's too high. We want to zoom in. Stuff's happening. Daily's trying to get around black. Houghton is there, right, zoom in properly, there we go, back to where we should be, good, okay, we are on the attack down this near side, eight minutes on the clock, uh, Houghton into Fashionu, we want to go one slower, we're going too fast, right, Daly, Daly has taken it around nearly, has he taken it around, Stuart Pearce, not quite, ball in the box, oh, Fashionu, oh, very close, I thought he'd got it in the bottom corner then, I thought it crept in, but Forrest are countering Kingsley Black is stopped in his tracks, now, obviously I'm a Blackburn fan, but if you don't know, I'm born and raised in Nottinghamshire, so Nottingham Forest are all my local team, um, or my local big team at least, and my brother is a Forest fan. Oh, hang on, John Fashnu with a header, lovely ball into the box. Whilst I'm giving you my life story, Richardson's cross, Fashnu nods in, and I think that's his first goal in about 10 hours or something like that. He's, it's his first goal for us under my stewardship. Anyway, it's a lovely ball in, Staunton into St Richardson, who's ball to the sort of back post, middle of the box, essentially, and Fashnu, powerful header. Great start to my tenure in charge. Not so great as Steve Staunton is injured. Brilliant. And our defensive options aren't that brilliant either. We're going to go with Kubicki in at left back to start with. Let's see how that fares. Anyway, so what I'm saying is my brother was a Forest fan, or still is a Forest fan, uh, so I'm quite familiar with the early 90s Forest side as well as the early 90s Blackburn side. Got fond memories of both. Uh, we are going to praise early. 24 minutes on the clock. Uh, so, that, yeah, this Forest side brings back quite a lot of memories. Obviously, the 94-95 season was much better for both. Obviously, Forest get relegated in the 92-93 season in real life. 94-95, Blackburn obviously won the league. And Forest were in the top three or four. Fourth, maybe, I think. I'm not really sure. Can't remember. Great season. All the same. Right, York tries to find Fashnu. He can't quite, though. Uh, and there's Nigel Clough. No longer being uh, managed by his father. Stuart Pearce, obviously down on the left-hand side. Plenty of familiar names in the forest side. Chettle with a ball over the top. Quite, quite, can't quite find Clough. So Villa have it again. Barrett out to Daly. Oh, that's a lovely turn from Daly around Pearce. Can he get a ball in the box? He can. York is there. York has scored. It's his first goal for me. His eighth of the season. And it's 2-0 inside half an hour here at the city ground. Aston Villa in control. This is a lovely turn by Daly. He takes it. Oh, brilliant little dummy around Pierce. And then it's good football to get to the byline. Ball into York, who toe pokes it under Mark Crosley. And it's 2 0 Aston Villa. Could not have asked for a better start. To answer the question in the intro, we are currently heroes and villains. Um, play on words, that's what that is. Uh, half an hour has gone. Forrest yet to really trouble us. 
We are playing well. Uh, and we're going to get to the half timer. And we're already up to 14th with one victory. That is good. A second victory later. We could put us on the cusp of European football. But we've got a corner just at the end of the first half. But it is headed clear. And it's gone all the way out to Clough on the far side. What? Who is, oh, someone's warming up. Jumping like a jackrabbit on the bench. What is going on there? That is distracting. Anyway, um, Kingsley Black is through. But Bosnich smothers it. Great save by the young Australian. And that's got to be half time. It is. We'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back underway. And we made some changes because Barrett has picked up a nut as well. So Ugo Ekiog is in. He's gone into the centre of the park. Teal has gone out to left back. Kubicki across to right back. And he's already looking tired as well. So he's probably not going to last the whole game. Uh, another shout there. And we are cruising, essentially. An hour gone. Forrest looking rather toothless going forward. We're looking a little bit better. Still not fantastic. We've got worries about the defensive depth, that's for sure. Uh, Ray Houghton is looking tired. We're going to make a change after this highlight. So it's a teal throw in into Parker. Ball into the box is not quite dealt with daily with a shot, but I think someone was offside. Yes, Houghton was offside. Right, let's make a change. It's going to be Kubicki coming off, I think, because he is he's well tired. Uh, we're going to bring on Cox for Kubicki. Uh, and then, in fact, have we... No. We brought on Cyril Regis at right back. Never mind. Um, he can play there. Why not? He's definitely not a striker. Anyway, it's a Forest highlight on the far side. Cyril Regis is going to get tested immediately at right back. Uh, brilliant. Br this, this is why I earned the big bucks. Roy Keane scored. If you've, if you've not seen, Tony Daly's picked up a yellow card. But Keane has got one back. 15 minutes on the clock. Pierce um, inside to Wone, whose ball over the top is great. Keane gets on the end of it, smacks it into the back of the net. Obviously, Keane and Sheringham still both at Forest right now. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't continue because they're going to go down. So maybe they'll be available for relatively cheap. We're going to waste some time as we get to 10 minutes left. Lower the tempo a little bit. That was a poor throw-in. And Forrest can... This is going to end up being an equaliser, isn't it? And I'm going to look very silly. <laughs> Forrest are attempting to build a counter. It's not really a counter when you go back to the defence and just pass it around for hours. Right. Um, no no countering here from Forrest. Crosley has it, though. If he's going to launch a ball forward, he has done. Can we stop it? Yes, we can. Cyril Regis with a great... Header, the the new right back at the club, clearly. Uh, Fashion who tries to find Daly once again, but he can't quite find him with his through ball. Uh, and it's back to Crosley again to start things off for Forrest. It's a long highlight of not much happening yet. That is won by Ugo Ekiog. Fashion who finds York, he takes a touch. Oh, he scored! That is a great finish. I thought he'd put that one wide. But a lovely, lovely finish from Dwight York. His second of the game. That's a brace for him. And that has... Hopefully, put the game out of reach for Forrest. We go again. Look, Fashion, whose ball finds York, takes a touch, smacks it into the top corner. 3 1. And we are happy. This is good. This is good. Yes, we want to confirm those tactical changes. We don't, we don't want to do anything other than time waste now. Five minutes left in the game. Yes, I think we've won this one. Up to 14th, as we said. And this is a good opening away fixture at the city ground for the new Villa manager myself. 3-1. Fashnu got a goal and an assist. York got two goals. Well done, lads. Incredible performance. Incredible's probably a bit strong. It was a good win for us anyway. A quick look at the table before we go and face Borough. Shows that we are 14th. Just a single point behind our opponents in the next fixture. Just five back from European qualification. And here we go then. A Home fixture, the first home fixture at Villa Park against Borough. You can see that QPR, by the way, beat Man United in their last game. So they are second at the moment. Uh, Man United have just got one over uh, Arsenal. We're going to change everything. Well, not everything, but quite a few things. We've got injuries in the back. But we've got Spink in goal. Try him out. Uh, Kubicki, Teal, McGrath and Cox as the defensive line. Looking a little bit shaky. Uh, Daly, Parker, Richardson, Houghton in midfield. York and Fashioning up front. Basically, we want to try everything because we're not familiar with this squad yet. But we're going to go and beat Borough, hopefully. Let's go.
Okay then, it is kickoff at Villa Park, and it's always a little bit worrying when your two centre backs start the game aggressive. Uh, we shall see how that fares. Now, this Villa side, completely unfamiliar with, unlike the Forest side, um, I'll be honest, if you told me that Borough were in the first Premier League season, I'd be questioning myself. Uh, that is a wasted opportunity first time out. But yes, obviously Borough were in the Premier League in the first season. But they did go down, I believe, because um, I don't remember them being in the 93-94 season. Anyway, uh, I'm not familiar with the Borough side, so I won't be making any anecdotes or comments about them, because it could be anyone for all I know. Um, but hopefully they're not very good. That's another shot that's gone over the bar from uh, Caraman. And I think I, think I recognise the name. Not really sure. I recognise more of the Villa players, but they were more high profile, uh, finishing second in the league. Right, we are down the far side. Cox, Fashionu and Houghton uh, attempting to link up play nicely. Cox has managed to get through. Can he get a ball into the box to York? He can't in the end. It's cleared, but the danger is not gone. Kubicki to Daly. Can he get a ball into the box to Fashionu? He can, but the header is just over the bar by John Fashionu, who has apparently been a very good signing from Wimbledon at the beginning of the season. I'm happy with him at least. So far, so good. Uh, 22 minutes gone. Do we do a shout now? Probably. We're going to encourage. Now we're at 26 minutes. Encourage uh, and see if we can press on a little bit and make more of an impact on this game so far. Lovely interception by Parker. We have got men in the box. Can he find York or Fashionu? He gets the ball in. He can find Fashionu, but it's close. Just over the bar once again with the header. Not too bad. Right, a free kick for Borough. It's hit the crossbar and he's got to be offside, surely. Surely. I think I think our defensive line was quite high there. We're gonna we're gonna see the replay. Obviously. We don't have VAR in the early nineties, so we would have gone with whatever the it's is allowed. So the linesman's clearly put his flag up, which they don't do currently in modern day. Anyway, yeah, he's well offside. The whole of the Borough attack were behind our defensive line. So that's okay. Still nil-nil. Half an hour gone. We've been slightly better of the two sides, but yet to really threaten. A couple of headers from Fashionu aside. Uh, that's a lovely long ball, but it's not got to the head of York. He's not been able to bring it down. Uh, and Borough are building again. They are threatening. I'm a little bit, a little bit worried, especially like that. That is definitely worrying. Uh, Paul Wilkinson has scored for Borough. A lovely finish, a lovely move on the counter, kind of, down this near side. They've worked it well. And, yeah, they've just sort of opened us up a little bit. I'm I'm worried about our defence, I'll be honest. With the injuries we've got, aside from McGrath, I'm not convinced by any of them, I'll be honest. Um, Ekiog on the bench is still very young. So I'm not expecting him to make much of an impact. And we've dropped down to 17th with that goal. Not fantastic. But we did beat Forest, so we've started out okay. Three points on the board already. Right, half time. We'll be back. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. That's what we've said at the half time break. See if that does anything. It's not really done much. Um, but yeah. 53, 54 minutes on the clock. Another highlight here. We're going to encourage. It's a Borough highlight, though. And we're back. Sorry about that. The camera glitched a little bit there. Kubicki has won it. We're still in the same highlight, though, so we've not missed much. I've just had to click something to get the camera back going again. Spinks clearance to Cox down this near side to Houghton. Can we get a ball forward a little bit more? Cox, we need to get something forward. We're just sort of playing with our backs to goals a little bit too much. Spinks' ball is speculative, but finds Kubicki, and maybe there's a little bit of space for him to move into here. Ball over the top, finds Fashion. York is about a yard or 20 offside. That is not going to count. You could have played a game of five aside in the gap between the defence and York there. His run was not held in the slight. It's a great finish, but he's about, he's, a, he's offside. Is an understatement. He's that far offside. He's on the other side of the pitch. That doesn't make sense. He's looped back round is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Bora are still eighth with this victory. It's not great, is it? We've got 25 minutes left. It's not looking fantastic. York has it. Uh, back to Kubicki. And we're trying to find some way forward. He's been blocked out. Back to Kapark. He can't find him again. Kubicki trying to find York in the box, but York is having a bit of a frustrating afternoon. Fashionu! 
Close with the header. I think he was offside, though. Tony Daly has picked up a knock. Uh, Stefan Beanlick. Whoever he is, I'm not really sure. We're going to bring York off. Do we bring him on for right back Cyril Regis or Daly and Atkinson? I'm not quite sure. I think we're going to go with Atkinson. Possibly. Yes. Uh, and we'll make one final change in a second. Cox is having a poor game at right back. Maybe we should put uh, Regis there instead. Uh, 20 minutes gone. Uh, 20 minutes not gone. 20 minutes to go. And we've got a free kick. Potentially dangerous area. Ray Houghton's going to take it. It's... Ooh. Close, but no cigar. Uh, 20 minutes left. This is... Uh, I'm not I'm not going to panic just yet. Um, I'm going to demand more, though. So you get 15 minutes to go. It's not looking great. We're going to make one final change. Houghton is looking particularly tired. Uh, Kubik is not having a great game. Cox is not having a great game. We're going to bring Blake on for Houghton, I think. Uh, make that final change. He's, he's played well. But he's tired and he honestly they want to save his legs. We've got Blackburn, I think, in the next fixture. They are mid-table as well. There's a big gaggle of teams, basically, from Liverpool back, who are all quite close. And this game is quickly running out. I need to probably pay attention. That corner is uh, saved quite well uh, by the Borough goalkeeper. Uh, it's, that is completely wasted. Kubicki has it. Can he find anything going forward? Blake, who has just come on the pitch. Cox and Blake link up well. Can Blake find York in the middle? York's not even on the pitch. That's why he couldn't find him. It was Daly Atkinson he was looking for. And he didn't find him either. And it's now Borough going forward. I've made a substitution and forgotten about. Oh, a ball over the top. It's dangerous. Falconer has an effort. And it's over the bar. Three minutes left. And when the manager can't remember who he's got on up front, there's there's little help, hope rather, for anyone. Fashion who tries to find Blake. Daly and Atkinson's in the middle. A great block, but he was offside anyway. Ah, that was the chance. That was the chance. We should have won this game. But Borough have upset the apple cart and the Villa fans. And that is not... The start we wanted at Villa Park. I'm not happy. We should have won that one. Uh, maybe my tinkering before the game was not. Ha! Hang on. Pressure mounts. It's my second game. I don't think it should be in the pressure just yet. Anyway, we are 17th after two games. I'll uh, We'll skip forward, have a look at the league table uh, and see where we're going to come back. Okay then, a proper assessment of the damage that's been done. Shows that we are indeed 17th. Level on points with Chelsea in 15th. Um, and just a point behind Ipswich. Two points behind Man City and Wimbledon. Oldham up in 11th behind Spurs. Lots of teams within close range. Blackburn are up to 7th, actually. They must have won. Uh, so, a bit of a rocky start, let's say. Uh, we're travelling to Ewood Park next. But in the next episode, we're going to have Ipswich on Boxing Day. Followed by League Leaders Man United on the 28th of December. And that is where we're going to end today's episode. We will be back with another episode of a whole new ball game. Uh, and we're going to alternate between this and uh, European Ewood. But I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Bit up, bit down. We'll see how we get on. And I shall see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Well, hey, you've made it to the end of the video. And hang on, what's. It's a subscribe button. Tap on this. Even if you've done it already, just, just try it. See what happens. And then if you're hanging around, have a look. Have a look at these. One of these. Check out some of this amazing content. You won't regret it. I'll see you next time.